Tonight, a 48-year-old woman is still in the hospital and the two Baldwin County deputies who shot her still on leave. The sheriff's office released the body cam footage from last week showing the woman coming to the deputies with a hammer. Anthony Montalto shows you some of the footage and gives an update on the case. Sheriff Bill Massey says the woman Fiesta Murphy was actually an inmate here at the Baldwin County Jail. He says she was released on the 9th and that's when she moved her way down the street to Antioch Baptist Church and made herself at home. That picture frame, they all had to be inside of the church. Picture it was the little things. What about this TV? That TV was inside of the church. That told Pastor Donald Tuft something wasn't right. No, somebody done broke into church. Look like they broke some up out here. He suspected someone broke into Antioch Baptist Church on Old Monticello Road and called the sheriff's office. Deputies looked around the sanctuary looking for evidence when they say suddenly, hey, 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 hey. Fiesta Murphy attacked them with a hammer, hitting one deputy in the arm. Instantaneous from the time it started until it was over. It took just five seconds and another 35 seconds for the deputies to start medical treatment. Yeah. Lay your legs straight out, dear. Let me see where you hit at. EMTs arrived 12 minutes after the shooting and took her to Atrium Health Navicent. The GBI was told by the EMTs at the scene that if they had not provided this aid and given put a tournament on her, uh, that she would have bled out. The deputies Ernesto Lopez and Greg C. are still on administrative leave pending the GBI's investigation. But Massey says he hopes to get the two back to work soon. He says they followed protocol. I think under the circumstances, it should not be a lengthy investigation. Now, Sheriff Massey says he expects Murphy will be released from the hospital in the next few days, but he says after that, she likely will not come back here to the Baldwin County Jail. Instead, they'll take her to a facility where she can get some mental health treatment. In Baldwin County, Anthony Montalto, 13 WMAZ News. Murphy faces charges of burglary and arson with more charges possible. Sheriff Massey says the incident highlights homelessness and the need for solutions.